That is true. You never know who could win this game. Every one of you have an equal chance. Enough said. We're all a bit... Uh, boom, massive wave just wipes out the whole camp. Traditionally, I don't really like the idea of just going with a women's alliance because you have the same anatomy. And Des, the tribe has spoken. Is that on the wood? Misplaced my back. This game is a lot harder than people think. If you don't have eyes in the back of your head, you're going home. It's awfully convenient that my T-shirt's gone missing, my bag is gone missing. There's a pretty strong, rigid alliance going on, which is pretty clear. And they're playing all sorts of dirty little tricks. They all think I'm an idiot, but I can see it from a mile away. <laughs> know every single person on that tribe is in an alliance together and they're absolutely doing everything to get me out like next oh this is my bag there you go. I'm hanging there the whole time no christy you, you all right mate no mate you're all right they just took it they've been taken and stealing things and like just trying to either ramp me up or like just get me so pissed off that I quit. Where is Christy? Is it your dream? Yeah, yeah. It, it genuinely is. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, I've literally been watching this show. Yeah, forever. Forever. Yeah. And I literally yeah. told my dad yeah. that I was going to get on it one day. And, like, when you want something yeah. so badly, like, yeah. you get really caught up in it. Yeah. I'm not going to give up because I'm here for that eight-year-old girl who told her dad that she was going to win Survivor. That's why I'm here. Yeah, Christy's a really interesting situation because she can see that Des didn't fit in. She's probably looking at herself going, hey, I don't fit in. Evan, the tribe has spoken. Good point. We are a, you know, a united group. You know, the fact that we can all go home and back to camp tonight, we can just work it out and move mm. forward together. But you will not be voting tonight. It's this awkward situation where everybody was voting off Cat. Cat didn't go home. Now this Four Girl Alliance has, like, a broken leg. And how do you mend a leg that you're going to amputate? And <laughs> embrace the pose. <laughs> I feel like I'm thriving more in the game than when I started, which is good, because if things are getting better, it's better than them getting worse. <laughs> I'm under the impression that I'm in a tight-neck alliance with Phoebe and Elle, but I'm not sure if Phoebe, Elle, Rowan and Lee are in a tighter alliance. It still doesn't really fully sit well with me. I just got to plant some seeds in some mines. Just slow. Yeah, just slow, you're all right. Christy, slow and steady for Aganoa. They had a huge lead. They're losing the lead now. Christy is still very slow over in Aganoa. Don't tell me to go any quicker. It was sitting right there. His sneakers were drying next to the fire, and somehow they just caught a light. <laughs> Gotta crack a smile at that. Woo! Since getting to the Vavau tribe, I'm highly aware that I am not in any sort of majority at all. Oh, yay! There go. There go. There's gonna have to be some fancy work going on for our, any agonites to move forward. <laughs> You tap your toes at the back and lift them up. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm just trying to be a likeable person. Hey. Not a lot of people can ah. do great. <laughs> that was good. What about you, Christy? Where do you fit? Are you in the majority or the minority? Well, we're going to have to see. Rowan, the tribe has spoken. Wow.
I have a Ferrari in my brain and the rest are driving Hyundai Excels. I just wish smoothly Andy came up at the dwell. Oh, out of nowhere. Andy just appears conveniently. What? Are you serious? Yeah. Where? Can, can I you show I've me? got two lots. I swear on my life. If you can show me it. Andy is a rat. He pops out of nowhere at the drop of a hat. You're a super fan. That's not offering anything. Eighth person voted out from Australian Survivor, Cat. Cat, the tribe has spoken. Andy's the type of person who, if you write his name down, he's going to be gunning for you next. But Andy is the only person I'm interested in getting voted out. Yeah, she's in the water. Connor's trying to hold her up. Got it? Yeah, I got him. Good bet. Phoebe and myself were having the chat about getting Andy out and seeing if Kate was on board with that idea, and she really was. She was almost more passionate about it than we were. Are you in the minority or the majority tonight? Oh, who knows? Oh, you don't know. <laughs> so is the well, majority... hopefully, eh? Hopefully, yeah. That's three votes, Andrew, three votes, Christy. Ninth person voted out from Australian Survivor. Andrew, you need to bring me your torch. Andrew, the tribe has spoken. Fortunately, that's why I'm sitting here tonight. You have yeah. to be really sad. I'm gonna be really sad too. You're losing me. Yeah, I know. Be devastated. Does she know? Yeah. Thanks for being honest with me, guys. And it's... it's... I might... Just sit where Phoebe sits at. How are you going? Really good. How are you? That's good. How are you? I'm good. I had some tears <laughs> just Did before. Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> I can confirm that this is, in fact, a hidden immunity idol. So any votes cast against Phoebe will not count. Craig, the tribe has spoken. I have. We may have lost whatever the reward is, but I think we deserve a treat. <laughs> Snail, I'm gonna eat you for dinner. We're having escargot for dinner. Never had it before, even though I did live in France, but why not start with the raw, real thing? I'm excited. I don't feel safe about what's gonna happen tonight. I've been through an emotional roller coaster. I started this game with having, like, almost a breakdown in front of everybody. And I've been trying to work on that every day that I've been here. And it's really, really hard. Tonight, one of you will be leaving this tribe. But you will not be leaving the game. Sue, I want you to take your buff off because you no longer need it. Toss it in the fire. You are now officially part of Sanapu. Sue leaving to go over to Sanapu makes me feel a little bit relieved because I had a feeling that I was going to be voted out tonight. Well, I want to have a chat with Kate. Do not let either of them get in your ear. Why is she so desperate to not have me be swayed? It's just a bit unusual. OK, we're going to trust each other. I do have trust in Phoebe, but in the back of my mind, I'm always a little bit edgy about her. Oh. So in my head, I'm thinking, no, nah, I don't like this. I don't want to go along with that. So 
I want to see what's going on because my instincts were screaming that I was going home last night. Screaming it. Absolutely. Boopy was going to vote for me last night. She called out my name. Mm -hmm. To hear that Phoebe had been gunning for me and that she was going to vote for me at the last tribal council and all the uh, interactions we had had in between that, it was like, you bitch. <laughs> so I was like, and you think that you can play me like that? Uh-uh, that ain't going to happen. Sorry, babe. She got to go. But she knows that we are right. She said to me, let's just... Okay. <laughs> yeah. She's yeah. ready to throw me under the bus tomorrow. The best move for you isn't going to be somebody who wants to throw their best friend under the bus. Yeah. I need to make sure that she still thinks that we're working together. OK. OK? Yeah. So Phoebe thought that she had me. I'm not this goat that people can just drag along. I'm somebody who knows the game, is prepared to play it, and what better move is there than taking out one of the biggest players in this game? Phoebe thought that she could play me, but you know what? I could play her better. <laughs> what are you basing your vote on? Intuition. Can you be any more specific? No. What's your gut telling you? It gave me a really, really strong realisation that I'm going to follow. Which was what? I can't go into details of that right now. Phoebe, the tribe has spoken. And by blindsiding Phoebe, Phoebe. She removed one of the game's most dangerous strategists. Uh, I've noticed that a couple of people are wearing pink bracelets. That could be potentially another sign of potential alliances. Christy's wearing one, though. Oh, that's cute. Cute, there's a button. Oh. Yay! It's the girly aggressive savage. salmon. Yeah. You're going to take one hand off. I thought you were going to give me food. I'm really at an indecision right now. And I'm feeling a little bit vulnerable. I'm trying to fit in with the majority and try and stay in this game. Otherwise, they're going to turn against me. And it's hard because we are really good friends. You can go through this whole game being a floater. It just means that you can flow through and navigate and change directions without the same inertia that you would have if you were in an alliance. Connor, Kate, the tribe has spoken. Well, you can give yours up today for someone else if that's what you want to do. That's what I want to do. Because I know what mine would say. And I know that other people really need it, and I know what's in mine. So I want to give mine to Matt. All right, you can swap places with Matt. <laughs> it's OK. That's so nice of you. And just well like done. that, Nick, Kylie, the tribe has spoken. L and Lee conversation every <laughs> Four votes, Christy. Four votes, Sue. 16th person voted out of Australian Survivor. Third member of our jury, Sue. Sue, the tribe has spoken. Oh, no. It's not fun to be the other vote. I got four votes tonight. Uh, but you know what? I got fire now and I am not gonna let anybody push me around. I'm not putting up with that shit. If anything, it was a nice little wake-up call to reality that now's the time to actually be playing. It wasn't time before, but now it is.
every time I have a conversation with Lee, I feel like he's almost sacrificing himself for me to get further in the game. It's, it's really bizarre. I'm gonna buy I am extremely anxious and worried that I'm gonna be going. But learning how to sit in a vulnerable position and still make it through is the best way for me to move forward. And Louise, the tribe has spoken. <laughs> Who would have thought little Christy from Agandau has made it to the top seven? Um, somehow. <laughs> nah, I know exactly how. I've gotten here by playing an independent game and fitting into other people's plans. <laughs> This is the time for things to change. <laughs> time for the ice cream to step off your self-proclaimed throne. Goodbye. Brooke, the tribe has spoken. Bye, guys. We just agreed that we would vote Christy out if it came to that. And as we were talking about that, Christy came up right afterwards. I've said I will stick to an alliance of four with Lee, Elle, and Flick. But when you see your alliance having a conversation without you, it puts alarm bells in your mind. I've been making people believe that they're in control of me since the day I arrived here. Phoebe, Sue, Brooke, there are a lot of people who fell victim to thinking that they had control of me. Are we having a chat about this morning? What? When you guys came down to the beach earlier. Ah, oh, I don't know. Just last night we wanted to check in with each other. Just mm. just come up with Donnie. Yeah. Um, something doesn't feel right. Yeah. And I I thoroughly believe in my gut instinct. Yeah. Something's gotta change. I'm not having that. Hello! Yeah. Yeah. Well yeah. Yeah, yeah, he said you were sick. DB. Oh, yeah, no, I went to the toilet oh. and then I had a drink and saw Maddie cook with some oh. flowers, so I thought I'd come over. Oh, and okay. Just I thought up. that you might have been real sick or something. She has no idea. Whereas if we had yeah. stayed with Lee and Elle. Worst night of my life. Seriously. I really don't know what's the best decision. Both options are strategic options. And I'm having anxiety about it all. The game's just getting to me and... It's getting to me I too. just don't want to compromise who I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just said... And I feel like I yeah. have. To outwit our play and outlast, I need to figure out what the best option is for me. Sam, the tribe has spoken. They have. Flick and Matt have taken their stand and that's where they are. And Lee and Elle have taken their stand and that's where they are. And I am in the middle. Which means I'm in full control. Go figure. If I don't want to do something, I'm not going to stand there and take it. If my dad was here, he would say, be yourself, back yourself. Make your own decisions, Christy, and do what you think is right. And that's what I intend on doing. Matt, the tribe has spoken. The title of Soul Survivor is seriously at stake for me right now. Big time. What? Oh my god! Oh. Where? Where's oh, the way. well? Oh, way. <laughs> Look at the surprise! Oh. Stop it. There's a party in your mouth. Everybody is invited to that party. Wow. It's just the big everything. Party. I'm going to do everything I can to survive. Christy, she was having no trouble walking that barrel across. And if it means that I have to win immunity tomorrow, then that's what I've got to do. I'm going to fight for it. I want to be here, you know? Eighth member of our jury, Flick. You're an idiot. <laughs>
We'll see. We will see. Flick, the tribe has spoken. This is actually my dream of an eight-year-old. <laughs> I, I literally sat there next to my dad and watched Richard Hatch in this challenge and turned to him and said, one day I'm going to get on Survivor. Wow. And wow. one day I'll be there. This challenge is now on. I don't want to go home. I'll take you. I'll take you. If you let me have this immunity, I will take you. I promise. And you know what? You'll probably beat me. I don't think I'm going to get any votes. I just want to get to the end. I just want to be sitting in that final two. I guarantee you. Boats. He keeps fighting. I am fighting. I'm really fighting. <laughs> and the other reason why I would take you is because you reminded me so much of my dad, who's sitting just over there. So happy. Yeah. Oh. 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 You okay, man? Oh. Christy, you okay? Call you over, <laughs> but I'm gonna get dad to come yeah. over. Yeah. How good's that? Yes. Congratulations, yeah. you have made it to the final two. I won the most important necklace in this game with my dad standing there with the most iconic challenge in Survivor history. That is something I will remember for the rest of my life. And Flick. Voted out last tribal council. Wow. Oh my god. I can't believe she won. Wow, guys. Last night you sat here at tribal council and you said to me that you're gonna have to win the challenge today if you're gonna end up in the final two, and you did it. Yeah. It was a pretty great moment. It's a dream come true. 22nd person voted out from Australian Survivor. And the final member of our jury, L. 
Elle, the tribe has spoken. I made it to day 55. <laughs> People didn't think I was going to make it, but I have survived through everything Survivor has thrown at me. And I'm at the other side. Boom. <laughs> Tick. Cheers. I do feel as though I deserve to be the sole survivor. I've proved that you can defy all the odds. I did that. And isn't that what Survivor is all about? All of you, you thought I was absolutely crazy. Maybe I was, but I've proven that every single odd can be stacked against you in this game. But if you keep going and you're determined enough, you will find a way to make it to the end. Phoebe was gunning for me. I managed to flip that around and then she went home. Coming in to this final merge, my goal was to ensure that I could get out everyone from Vival and everyone from Sanapu. And that's what happened. I have had to fight my way through 20 tribal councils. In the end, I was able to get through two whole tribes. Who in Survivor can say that? I can. It's not a show pony. As Survivor fan, I can appreciate every single one of you wanting to make big moves. But you look at the jury and the people who made big moves got voted out straight away afterwards. Lee's kind of, you know, controlled your every move. N no. Lee wasn't controlling me. Part of my gameplay from the beginning was to let other people think that they had control of me. Everybody wants to feel secure in this game. Everyone wants to feel like they're in control and know what's going on. So, really, I was kind of using Lee as well. I went through the entire game to 20 tribal councils and knew who was going home every single time. The whole essence of Survivor is breaking through that adversity. And if you can't do that, where are you going to go? One of you will be named Soul Survivor. But a moment like that really should be shared with oh people God. you care about the most. And this is my mom. Hi. Hi, mom. Hi. Hi. I'm so proud of her. I'll read the votes. Christy. 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 Four votes, Christy. One vote, Lee. Winner of Australian Survivor, Christy. <laughs> Christy, you are Australia's sole survivor 2016. I just won the title of sole survivor. <laughs> Half a mil. <laughs> Survivor is the ultimate game and the ultimate challenge. You grow so much from going through an experience like this and my life will never be the same. Oh my baby girl. <laughs> I'm living proof that if you want something, you can get it. The biggest lesson that I've learned, be yourself, back yourself. If you have a goal that you deep down inside no feels right. Clever girl. It is right. <laughs>